Are you sitting comfortably? It's time for a story. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Right, my story today is The Robot With No Bottom and it's by Sue Hendra. Good old Sue. Right, here we go. Bernard the robot loved to play at the park. Whee! he said. Whee! He loved to swing high, high, high into the sky. Whee! Bernard jumped off the swing. Soon it was time to go. So he jumped off the swing and he went for a walk home. So he walked through the park. And he walked along the road and suddenly he realised, oh, my bottom, somebody nicked my bottom, my bottom has gone, oh panic, 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 oh my bottom, where is my bottom? So he had a look to see who else was around. Bernard went to the park, but he couldn't find his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, have you seen my bottom? Oh, 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 oh. Mm, said monkey. I might have seen. Mm, I tell you what, Bernard was using it. Bernard was using it. Come on, come on, Bernard. Let's go and find your bottom. Bernard's got it. So they went and found Bird. Hello, Bird, said Monkey. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops, Bernard. Was that your bottom? Said Bird. It was too heavy to be a nest, so I gave it to Bear so he could use as his drum kit. Let's go and get it back. Bear was playing the drums. Excuse me, Bear. Have you seen my bottom? Have you been jumping, jumping, and drumping, and jumping, and drumming on my bottom? Oh, let's rewind that bit. Have you been drumming on my bottom? Said Bernard, eventually. Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom? Said Bear. It made a funny noise, so I couldn't use it as a drum. I don't know where it's gone now. Oh, said Bernard. But don't worry, we'll find it, said all his friends kindly. So off they walked. And Bernard walked with them as well, shaking his nuts and bolts. And they went and had a look for Bernard's bottom. Come and sit down, said his friends. We'll think where to look next. I cannot sit down, said Bernard. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a no-butt. And Bernard started crying. <coughs> Oil coming out of his tear ducts. <coughs> Poor Bernard. And he walked away again with his nuts and bolts. He carried on walking. Eventually, he came to the beach. Ooh. Bernard was looking out to sea. And suddenly, he saw something very familiar. He saw a rabbit, and the family of rabbits, all floating in a very familiar object. Bernard, come back, come back, he said. You've got my bottom. Don't, it'll sink, it's got a crack in it. Come on, come on, stop it, stop it, stop it. There it was, but they went. But suddenly Bernard walked again. He walked along the beach, and then he saw it. There it was, a sandcastle in the shape of Bernard's bottom. And there next to it was Bernard's bottom. Somebody had been using Bernard's bottom to put sand in and make sandcastles out of it. Hooray, he found his bottom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He was so happy, he did a wiggling, jiggling dance. All his friends did the wiggling, jiggling dance as well. Hey, Bernard, hey, said Monkey. Ooh, 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 I love it. Bird was, oh, Bernard, you found your bottom. And suddenly Bird was found to be Scottish as well. We don't understand why, but yes. So, everybody lived happily ever after, and Bernard enjoyed having his bottom back. That was the story of the robot with no bottom, read by Tony Rudd. It was a Victoria Creatives production. Be sure to check back soon for more stories.